Would you be surprised if I told you that four of the top 10 most shorted stocks on the ASX are lithium stocks? Well, for me, it came as a massive surprise given the market is so hot at the moment. But what does that mean? Can we expect a short squeeze or is this a sign that the market is in a bubble? Let's take a look. How's it going guys, Ryan here and welcome back to another stock investing video and today we are looking at the top shorted shares on the ASX and in particular we're focusing on four stocks which are lithium miners. This is a very, very interesting position to be in and it is something that I did not expect to see when I looked at the top 10 most shorted stocks. As we all know, the lithium market at the moment is extremely hot. Plenty of people are buying these stocks and these stocks are going through the roof. But then how are four of the top 10 most shorted stocks on the ASX being lithium stocks. This simply does not make sense. And what I'm expecting to see is basically one of two things. The first theory is we're going to basically see a short squeeze occur. And this is where we start to see that buying goes up so much that the short positions have to be closed out. The stocks have to be bought back and that results in a massive increase in pricing. And obviously I'm talking about the four stocks which I will show you very shortly. And the second possible situation is there are people in the market or institutions that recognize that there is a bubble in the lithium market and they're expecting these companies to absolutely tank. But how could that be the case if lithium demand is going through the roof and supply is so short at this point in time. So let's take a look at the top 10 most shorted stocks on the ASX, in particular, looking at those top four lithium stocks. Here is the list of the top 10 most shorted stocks on the ASX. And you can see there are some expected companies on there. Number two, for instance, Flight Center is being shorted simply because people aren't traveling as much as they would. And this is realistically the result of the pandemic that we have had across the globe. In number 10, for instance, we have Zipco. And we know that services such as Zipco or Afterpay and those sort of credit payment service providers are plummeting in value and have been. So once again, understandable as to why we can see something like Zip on there. But where I want to direct your attention is to 4567. This is very interesting because these are four major players in the lithium space and they have a very prospective future. We have CXO called Lithium, SYA, Sayona Mining, LTR, Line Town Resources, and finally, LKE Lake Resources. Now, as I mentioned before, there are realistically two reasons why this could be occurring from a generic point of view. The first is the positive aspect where we can see that these companies are actually being bought up by institutions. And what do I mean by that? Well, institutions you'll typically see will try and short stocks in order to reduce their value so they can acquire more shares at a cheaper price. Now, this realistically would make sense because what we're expecting to see is that these stocks in a few years time will be worth significantly more if we base it comparatively against other producers that have been in the market producing for a number of years. The four stocks we've seen here are companies which are building up to that point and will soon hit that point. So understandably, people are wanting to get in at cheaper prices and institutions have the ability to actually reduce the value of stocks through shorting. Now, this is obviously a very, very good scenario as what we can expect to see is something called a short squeeze, which is where we're going to see a big, big buyback of the shorts because the prices of these companies do start to go up. And when this short squeeze occurs, the buyback further fuels that fire, allowing the price of these stocks to absolutely skyrocket. We have seen this 
through the world of Reddit, as we did see back when there were many companies that people were banding together and trying to short squeeze and increase the valuation of these companies. The main one being GameStop, as I'm sure you all know about. Now, a short squeeze will occur when the companies that are involved in the shorting activities are basically ready for this to occur. They've accumulated enough stocks and they're ready to basically buy back their positions and allow that share price to increase in value over time. And for them, that means they've accumulated enough shares at a cheap price and then get an instant benefit basically from being able to see the investment increase in value in a very, very short space of time. This is a very smart tactic that is employed by these institutions and allows them to gain an edge above the average people. And you'll typically see them do this on stocks or in industries which they're anticipating will be hot or are already becoming hot and they've basically missed the boat in order to get into these stocks. So that's the good theory. What is the bad theory? Well, it's effectively that there is some sort of a bubble, whether that be in the lithium space or within these stocks themselves. And for instance, we're basically seeing that people or institutions have identified that these stocks in particular are overvalued and they're anticipating that a drop is going to come, meaning they can cash in their shorts and make money that way. Now, from a lithium market perspective, what we have seen is a decline over the past few months in the value of things such as lithium carbonate spot prices. Now, whilst we have seen a decrease, this does not mean the prices aren't still attractive. They are certainly significantly higher than they were a couple of years ago, and companies that are actually producing are able to make money from them. But why would we be focusing on these sort of aspects when we're looking more long-term? Well, as I mentioned before, these companies in particular may be bubbles in themselves. Maybe there are institutions out there or people that believe that these specific stocks are ones which aren't going to succeed in the lithium race at the moment. They might have been able to identify that these companies at this point in time are worth a lot more than they should be based on where they're currently at in their development cycle. And that could be an indicator that you look at and you go, okay, well, these stocks are possibly overvalued at this point in time. So what are we going to do about it? Well, we're going to start, I suppose, shorting the stock, basically make some money from the price of that stock going down, drive the price down because the shorts are so significant, then buy it all back when it gets to the low or more appropriate pricing, and then enjoy the run on the way up. So realistically, I could see the stocks being a bit of a bubble as a more, I suppose, palatable example of why this might be occurring compared to the overall lithium market being a bubble. But overall, I think if we are looking long-term at lithium, the demand is there and the supply simply isn't. So if you're taking a bit of a longer-term point of view, then I think realistically, if you're invested in lithium stocks, you are likely to make money if you have chosen the stocks which are right for you. So the fundamental question is, as an investor, how can you take advantage of situations such as these, where we see these stocks being shorted significantly? And if you are an investor and think, hey, that doesn't seem right, they should be worth more in the future, well, simply what you do is you go, okay, what is the expected value based off your own analysis? Look at where the price is now, look at where the price is going from a technical analysis point of view, and of course, focus on the fundamentals of these companies as well. If you're expecting that these shorts and just the market in general is going to push these stocks down more, what you'd likely want to do is hold off on buying these stocks until they hit a base or until you start seeing the shorts being bought back in order to, I suppose, effectively start seeing an uptrend occur. This is a fantastic buying opportunity for investors who are smart because what we're seeing is the markets effectively being manipulated 
into allowing people to enter these stocks at a much cheaper price and then enjoy the returns on the way upward. Now, would you tend to short the stocks yourselves? Possibly, but this is extremely risky. And personally, I would tend to avoid it. Rather, I'd like to take advantage of the stocks being at a low price if I think that in the future, they are going to be worth significantly more when they do get into that production stage and they are taking advantage of the lithium prices at that point in time. That wraps up today's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I'd love to hear your comments down below on whether you think that the market is due to have a short squeeze occur for these stocks or if we are seeing signs that there is a possible bubble present. If you did enjoy the video, make sure you do leave a thumbs up. And if you want to see more of this sort of content, hit subscribe and turn on those bell notifications. I'll leave it there for today, guys. I hope you have an awesome day. I'll see you next time. Cheers.